So, Coach, obviously you guys had a good bye week to have some time to rest, recover, and get ready for this upcoming five-game stretch. And over the last game, you guys had a really good start, it seemed like, against Cincinnati. Momentum swing kind of forced you guys into a hole. What do you think it was offensively that made it so you guys struggled a lot in that first half against you know, Cincinnati? You know, we didn't take advantage of, of our third downs and fourth downs. That's huge. Uh, we turned the ball over. Uh, that was uh, not at the right time. And I think that momentum switched the other way. But... Uh, if we take care of the football and, and uh, convert on our third downs, I think we'll have a better uh, chance to beat uh, this next three in Oklahoma State. And you, uh, you mentioned the fourth down conversions. Obviously, at home, you guys seem to be doing a little bit better of a job in those fourth and short, fourth and two situations where you got to just run the ball up the gut. Um, what do you guys practice, or how do you go about trying to make sure that you get put your guys in a position to make success of those situations? You know, I think it's all execution. You know, it's first of all, it's a mindset on fourth down that you're not going to lose. Secondly, it's an execution. So, um, Coach Dillingham has uh, all the utmost confidence in our offensive group, no matter where we're on the field, to, to get that fourth down, fourth down conversion. And, and so we just got to execute. And obviously, with Relique uh, trying to take a medical register, this year won't be playing for the rest of the remainder of the season. Does that kind of give opportunity to maybe some other players across the field, like a, maybe like a Kyson Brown or a Carlos Brooks, to get more time on the field or to get more reps? I know they've been playing a lot lately with Relique out anyway, but is that kind of how you see it? In yeah, capacity? you know, they, they're going to have to uh, play their role. Um, and, and then you, they're, they're also the, the next man up to if something ever happens to Scat, but um, they understand their role and, and we didn't have really healthy probably through the whole uh, entire season so far. And so um, they know what they need to get done. And, and then it, uh, again, it gives opportunity for other guys to show what they got. And Kyson Brown, like he was doing a pretty good job today across practice. And obviously with five straight games left on the season, there's going to be a lot of necessity to get guys rotated and make sure you're resting through the rest of the way. Do you expect like uh, him, his, his own particular uh, assets or amount of time on the field to go up while the season's going on? You know, he does, he's done a great job. You know, um, he, he spent that first spring with us. Uh, his development is huge. And, uh, I trust him with every play. Um, and now when he goes in, the quality of reps that he gets, um, he's been very productive. And so uh, hopefully we, he keeps on growing and growing and, and becomes the back of the future. And Oklahoma State have shown uh, issues on their own defensive part when it comes to run defense over the course of the season. Is there anything that you're kind of looking for that you can at least tell us about the style of what you guys are going to be trying to do this week or schematics of what you might be trying to look to do against this defense? You know, you know schematics, they're going, they know they're going to have to put people in the box to stop the run. I mean, that's that's no secret, and, and Scat is the guy that uh, they want to stop. And so uh, we think that we'll see uh, a lot more guys in the box. Um, now it becomes effort and execution. You know, do they play hard? Do we play harder? Um, and, and so I think our... Um, advantage is that I think we play hard um, every down and so hopefully that will play out uh, against Oklahoma State. Um, like Ryan said, um, Oklahoma State's defense has shown issues stopping the run. How big of an opportunity, obviously Scott's going to be getting the ball a lot, but how big of an opportunity do you think this is to get a guys like Kyson, like Carlos, the ball more? Yeah, you know, it depends on the weather too. And, and yeah. so, um, but they understand, that I don't think the game plan in itself changes, um, but uh, they're going to have to be ready to go. Uh, and if they are a hot hand, and I keep them in. And uh, when they need to come in and execute to get a third down or a fourth down, they have to make sure that they are productive on those too. And so they understand where what I need from them and what the team needs from them, and uh, we'll be ready to go. And to Carlos, a lot like Kyson, came here last year. He's older, obviously, but played a role last year, playing a role this year. What can you say about the job that he's done during his time here? V very steady, uh, and I trust the Carlos on, on all plays. You know, so very steady, runs hard. Um, they got to go and tackle him too, and so it just, it's a compliment. Those two guys are uh, backs that are tough to tackle, and so not only Scat, but those two guys coming in with fresh legs uh, makes it difficult for a defense. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Yeah.